you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency now the first thing you do is to draw your vertical and horizontal line this way this and this right at this point you see here is the point that my arrow is pointing is that again now the inner circle you can see has a diameter of 24 so with intelligence we operate with the radius so what I will do is I'm going to measure half of 24 which will be the radius and that is 12 so I'm going to measure 12 from 0 to what to 12 at this point right and I'll place at the center point here and I'm going to draw uh, my tick line this way I'm going to tick in it so that is the inner circle so the next one is the external circle which has a diameter of 48 and you divide it by 2 to acquire the radius and that will be 24 half of what it is 24 so I'm going to measure 24 from 0 to 2 this is 24 here right and I'll place it at the center point again and I'll draw another circle which I'm going to take in this way right so this is what we have now aside that the next thing that I'll be doing is that from this center to the next center here where my arrow is pointing is given to be 48 right so I will just extend this line that we have here this line here and I'll measure 48 from that point so if I should place my meter row here this is 0 from 0 straight down to 48 this is 48 here can you see that that is what that is 48 from 0 to what 48 so I'm going to take that up line up across that point in this fashion this way right now on that point we have another circle of radius what eight so I'll just measure a circle of radius eight at this point here circle of radius eight from zero to this point is eight and I'll place it at the center point here can you see that and I'm going to draw a faint line first of all can you see that? I'll draw a faint line. Now the next thing I'm going to do is from this center to the next center here is given to be 42. So from this center here, I'm going to measure 42. So from 0 to 42. From 0 here, I'll measure 42. It's 40, 41, 42 here. Right? And I'm going to draw a line across that point this way you can see that so from that point I have another circle the internal circle you see is given to be diameter of 15 you need half of it which will be 7.5 right so I'm going to measure 7.5 on my meter rule and this is 0 this is 5 6 7.5 here and I'll place at the center here right where I'm going to draw a circle which I'm going to tick in you can see that and um, the next one here is um, 34 the bigger circle diameter of 34 so I need half of it which is 17 so I take 0 that is dividing 34 by 2 half 17 so I take 0 to 17 this is 15 16 17 here and I place it at this point here and I draw a circle which I am going to tick in right now this is what we have here 
Now the next thing that we'll be doing here is that there's this line joining these two circles that is tangent to two of the circle. So I'll draw a straight line. It will join those two points. Right? And show that they are tangential to it in this manner. Can you see that? And similarly, we have this circle, an arc that is joining these two circle, and the arc is going in. So the arc is external. And when it's external, you are going to add. Right? So I'll be adding the two radiuses of these two circles. Now let's start with this. Now the radius of this circle here is 8. Right? Then 8 plus 36. That will give us what? 44. So I'm going to measure 44 my meter rule. Right? Measure 44 my meter rule from 0 to... This is 40. That is 44, right? So from 0, 40, 44. Can see that? 44. And now I'll place it at the center point since I'm considering the circle. And I'm going to strike an arc at the side. Can you see that? Similarly, I'm going to add 36 plus uh, half of 48, which is 24. So 36 plus 24. That will give us um, 60. Right? So I'm going to measure 60 on my meter rule. From 0 to what? To 60. This is 0 to 60 here. Yeah. Can you see that? Now I'll place it at the center point of this circle. Since that's what I'm considering, I'll draw another arc this way. So where these two circles, where they intersect, that will be the center of this arc you can see that joins these two circles. So I'll go to place it this way. Right? And I'm going to have this this way. You must ensure you gauge them. Can you see that? You must ensure that you what? You gauge them. Hope you can see that. So, and what we'll call that it is external is if I place it this way, you see that there's a bigger circle here. Can you see that? So we don't really need it. So we say it is external because of these two circles are external, are outside the bigger circle. That's why we say it's external. And external, you are going to add. Right? So we mean that the radius of this circle you can see here is given to be 36. So let me just do that once and for all. That the radius between here to this point from here to this point is given to be radius of what 36 so we call the external because of there is a bigger circle outside that these two circles outside of it so i would like to complete this from here to here i just complete this this way Now, the next one is, we have another circle that is touching these two here, right? But what do you notice? It is internal. An internal circle you subtract. Is that okay? Uh, and I will explain why it's internal here. So I will just, um, in internal circle, we do what we subtract. So I'm going to focus on this circle here. The rate of this circle here is given to be 17. And 17 minus this bigger arc here is what? 17 minus 88. And we're having, um, we're having 71. Right? This is 1 and this is we're having 71. Is that the key? So I'm going to measure 71 on my meter rule in this fashion from 0 to 71. This is it here. Right? And I'll place it at this point here, and I'll strike an arc this way, so in this in this direction here. I'll strike an arc in this direction. Is that again? It will be in the direction since the circle is coming out this way. So since the arc is coming out this way, so I'll do that. Now aside that, the next one, the diameter is forty-eight, so that is half of it is twenty-four, right? Of this bigger circle here, 
and now subtract it from 88. So 24 minus 88 to give us what? 64. So I'm going to measure 64 on my meter rule this way from 0 to 60. There we have 64. And I'll place it at the center point. Since that's what I'm considering, and I'm going to strike here. So where they meet will be the point that will connect these two circles. Can you see that? Will be what the point that will connect these two circles in this fashion. Now we together. So let's do that. Can you see? The most important thing again is for you to put in your word, your dimension in. So I'll quickly do that. I'll diameter 24. And this is what we have. Right? So we we'll put the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen right so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching